with that in mind, do you have any sense of how big of an opportunity this could be? I'm not asking for projections, but you guys must have an indication of maybe how big of an opportunity this could be, or is it too early to know yet? It's a bit early. We're, we're only now able to start turning on our marketing because we couldn't turn on the marketing of soft play. As you know, gamers are very digitally native. They're all active online. And if you have your influencers turn on their marketing, some of these influencers have 150, 200,000 followers. So they start, you know, talking about uh, you know, buy GG and 5,000 people come in. The DG was cutting off at 100 people on a day because that's soft play. You're only open for eight hours a day, a right. max of 100 people. So we couldn't turn that marketing on at the risk of 100 people come in, sign up, and then 2,000 get blocked. Uh, you know as well as I know that uh, those people would then go into the chat groups and say, you know, it this is work. Yeah, that, yeah. So they would, there would be harsh criticism. So we had to kind of slowly get through the process until the DGE got comfortable with the number, of, the numbers are in there and the, and the reports and the settlements, et cetera. And we were, we were restricted. It was a bit of a catch-22 situation. Uh, Nonetheless, we, the DG did work with us and we did get through the process. And hence, as you saw in the announcement on Monday, we're completely out of free, uh, out of soft play. It's now fully functioning. Uh, we can now turn on the marketing. So we're going to learn a lot here over the next 30 days. If you love that clip, give us a like, then hit the link to watch the full video. Don't forget to subscribe.